do this exact formula to gain muscle without actually being on a diet. If we have a history of gaining weight, then we have no problem eating in a caloric surplus. There are people out there that never gain weight, but they have a way different movement and eating habits different from the most of us. So what am I gonna tell you? First, give yourself 28 days to train without a diet. Never stuff, but absolutely never starve. Pick your big lifts and track how much you lift in 30 seconds. Chest press, squats, deadlifts, lap pull down. Your goal is 10 to 12 reps or one rep every 30 seconds for 30 seconds and you can start taking pre-workout versus a fat burner to help you lift more. Now the first thing that we need to do is give yourself 28 days to train without a diet. Why 28 days? A lot of us often jump on a meal plan or start eating clean and we start doing one thing for a little while and we're wondering why isn't it working? Now if we were consistently gaining fat then the body just automatically won't go from gaining fat to building muscle. We have to curve one and create the other. So what do we need to do is that we need to focus on getting the proper types of lifts and getting the proper types of nutrition. Now, if you don't want to track your food and you do not want to be on a diet, then we have to use the never stuffed method. So you want to be full, but you never want to be stuffed. If you get to the point of stuffing, then that means that your stomach is going to grow. That means that you've overeaten and that any of the calories that you don't use will get stored as fat. Now we want to gain muscle and we will gain weight, but we don't want to gain fat, okay? Gaining weight doesn't necessarily mean that you've gained muscle because I can go to an all-inclusive for seven days and eat 6,000 calories every single day and come pack five pounds heavier, but then see my body fat shot up by 4%. So we never want to stuff because it's going to allow the body to have extra calories to feed our fat. Now when it comes to doing your lifts is that you want to actually track the compound lifts that you're able to see if you're progressing in strength. So for instance, chest press is a great exercise that you can use as a measuring tool. The hardest part if you're doing a circuit style training is to be able to get up the heavier weights onto your thighs so you can roll back and do the chest press. But what you need to do is focus on time over tension. Your goal is to get 10 to 12 reps. If you're getting six to eight reps, that means that the weight that you chose is too heavy. Now, if you're getting over 12 reps, so even 13, 14, 15 reps in a matter of 30 seconds, then you went too light. So your first target is to be able to do the chest press for 10 to 12 reps. And 12th rep is a failure rep, meaning it's like you're done, okay? So your goal is to get 10 to 12 reps in that 30 seconds, and that's how you know you found that perfect weight. Now, each and every time, you wanna try and progress and go up in weight, but you gotta understand that a lot of the weights, they jump up by five pounds, which is actually 10 pounds, because if you're using two dumbbells and you went from the 30 to 35s, well, you've just added 10 more pounds, which is a significant amount of weight to add onto your chest press. So what you might do is if you're benching the 30 pounders and you're able to get that 10 to 12 reps, and then the next week you try with the chest press and you go up to the 35s and you're only getting six to eight, that means that the 35s are still too heavy. So what you wanna do is try and get your 30 pounders up to about 15 reps and then attempt one round with the 35ers. Now that one right round might come on the, fir the first set, might come on the second set or third set, it's up to you, but try and do it when you're warm. And then once you get up to that consistent 10 to 12 reps, that's when we can attempt to get heavier. So what you wanna do is write down chest press, squats, deadlifts, lat pull down, and as you do them throughout the week, you wanna be able to record the weight that you used and record the, the amount of reps that you did and your goal is to progressively get stronger so that we can pack on more muscle. And so we gotta understand that this isn't gonna be linear and it's not gonna happen right away. It's gonna take a little time to get stronger. Otherwise, we'd all just be machines, right? And there's gonna be a time when you might even just plateau on all of those, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that you're failing. It just means that you need to go at it a little bit longer and as you progressively get stronger, you're gonna add more muscle. 
Now, when it comes to supplements, the one supplement that I'd recommend for you to swap out, instead of taking your leaner or your fat burners, where you normally get the hype up, you might wanna start taking a pre-workout like the C4 Ultimate. Now, the reason why I like this supplement is because it's got two levels of creatine, which helps supercharge your muscles to be able to output more energy. It's got the caffeine in there, like the fat burners would have, so it's gonna mentally wake you up and make you feel more charged so that you're able to work out. And then it's got a bunch of other supplements in there that help with the muscle pump and muscle recovery. So instead of taking fat burners as your pre-workout to get you going, you might switch over to a pre-workout like C4 that's gonna give you the boost that you're gonna to need to be able to lift heavier. So if you're ready to take your fitness game to the next level, whether it's virtual or in person, I wanna invite you to join us at Fit Club. We're not just a community, we're a family dedicated to helping you achieve your fitness goals. Now, a quick tip before we sign off, if you've struggled with weight gain in the past or you're looking to build muscle while keeping the fat at bay, give yourself 28 days to train without a diet. Focus on those big lifts like chest press, squats, deadlifts, and lat pulldowns. Track your progress. Aim for the sweet spot of 10 to 12 reps or one rep every three seconds for 30 seconds. Remember, it's not about stuffing yourself or starving. It's about finding that balance. And hey, consider swapping out those fat burners for a solid pre-workout like C4 to help you crush those lifts. Now, if you're ready to get started, whether it's virtual or in person, shoot me a message. Go to my website, www.fitclub.fit and let's make those gains together.